Boy! So do you think Chinese people get English tattoos? <laughs> Does it work the other way around? That's all I'm asking. I want to tell you a couple of stories, true stories. I was in Brisbane last week and uh, I went into a pub there and I decided to go into the toilet of the pub for a reason, you know. I wasn't just browsing. Um, oh, I love what you've done with the place. Anyway, uh, this is a true story. Uh, there was all the three urinals were being used. So there was a queue forming. I say a queue, there was just one guy in front of me, an old guy, very pissed. Was, uh, uh. Anyway, the guy in the third urinal moved away. He'd finished, but he had a big smile on his face. Oh, well, why has he got a smile on his face? Well, it was obvious because someone had written in graffiti above the urinal, express lane only, <laughs> five beers or less, right? <laughs> a good guy. So then the old guy, he stumbles up to the urinal. He gets here, he opens his zip, he gets his wadge out. He looks up, he reads this and he goes, ah, and shit, oh, down, like, down, like, down. <laughs> Someone asked me uh, the other day on Breakfast Radio, Breakfast Radio, man, yeah. Are you awake, Danny? Yeah. <laughs> Someone asked me what my worst experience of travelling around Australia was, and uh, last year I uh, did a gig in Kalgoorlie. Yeah, live the dream, Danny boy. <laughs> I think it's the only place I've ever stayed where I asked for a hotel room without a view. <laughs> anyway, I, uh, that doesn't matter. I got on the flight, uh, and uh, it was quite a small plane going from Perth to Kalgoorlie, and it was full of kind of miners and stuff. And there was a big miner in a seat, and I went and sat down next to him, and I said, oh, do you mind if I turn the air conditioning on? He said, do you just want to want to fuck, 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 fuck. That's how I think you talk, sorry. In my head, Australians are evolved from chickens. But... <laughs> if you get really upset, it's fuck! the piss! <laughs> anyway, I sat next to this big guy, right? The plane takes off. He goes into his bag to get out his preferred reading material for the journey. It's a hardcore pornographic magazine. <laughs> I swear to God, and he's just uh, flicking through it, casual as you like. I stare at him in shock. I said, uh, all right. He had the nerve to turn to me and goes, uh, do you mind? <laughs> I said, do I mind? Don't you think that's a bit rude? <laughs> and he thought about it, and then he went, ah, oh, yeah, you're probably right, and pushed the porn mag in between us. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, wait me now if I'm going too fast for you, mate. <laughs> Needless to say, we spent the entire journey with our tray tables down. <laughs> Enjoy your festival, folks, and I'll see you all again. Cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs>